I just generated 20 t-shirt designs totally for free using ChatGPT and Ideogram 3.0 and it only took me about 20 minutes. And then I went ahead and created another 10 designs using the best flux model right now and Google's Image in 4 and this only took me about 5 minutes. Professor Dr. Milo is once again bringing you the biggest updates in the AI world when it comes to print on demand because he's helped me find a brand new tool that will actually let you generate images with all of the best AI models for free. And I know that sounds too good to be true, but let me explain. So there's a website called LM Arena, and they are actually conducting research on which AI models are the best. The way they do that is they make them available for free. They pay for all of the generations out of their own pocket. They've raised a lot of money for this. And all they ask from us in return is to vote on which result we prefer. So you can often compare different models and you'll see how that works in a second here. And then you just get all of this combined in a leaderboard. It's for text to image, it's for just text, it's for text to video, all sorts of stuff is in here. But as you can see, the text to image models right here built in are GPT image one, there's different Google models, we've got Flux, there's Ideogram 3, Recraft is in here as well as DALI 3, Stable Diffusion, and some of the models that are inside of Leonardo AI. And the way it works is really simple. I'll have a link to this page right here in the description where all you have to do is click on generate images. And then if you change the mode up here from battle to side by side, which is probably the best one, I've been using this all day and that's the one I prefer the most. Now you can choose two models right here from the drop down. So I could take Ideogram V3 quality, which is the best model right now. And then I could have that face off against ChatGPT Image 1, which is OpenAI's best model right now. Now, by the way, if you don't see Ideogram in your list, it's probably because you didn't select the image function right here. That's a mistake that I made at the beginning. So click Generate Images, and then they will all show up. And now it's a case of just describing what you want to see or copy and pasting a prompt if you have it. You click Enter on the right. You might get this little error message for the GPT Image 1 model. That happens quite often, but if you click Retry a few times, Usually it actually starts generating. You just have to be patient sometimes and refresh it a few times. But there we go, Ideogram 3 is already done. It's done a pretty good job. You can click download over here to save the image to your device. And then about 40 seconds later, GPT image one is also finished. And again, you can click download right here. You can retry if you're not happy with the result. But now the question right here before you can continue inputting your next prompt is which one of these is better? Is the left better? Is the right side better? Is it a tie? or are both bad. So you're supposed to give feedback on which version you prefer. That's the idea of this website. And once you've chosen the option right here, you will get a security verification pop-up. So you just click on that. And there we go. Now you can insert your next prompt right here. Now, GPT image one actually seems to work quite well and doesn't have as many limits as the free version on OpenAI, ChatGPT's website, at least seemingly from my testing so far. I was able to generate about 20 images within half an hour, which I think you would run into a, a rate limit way quicker on the free plan with ChatGPT. If you don't want to wait though 40 seconds or 50 seconds for these to generate, another really good model up here is Imogen 4. And there is two models for that, Imogen 4 and Imogen 4 Ultra. They're both pretty decent. I do slightly prefer the Imogen 4.0 version at the top right here. So you can also choose that. And if you then hit generate, it's going to take those two models and they're usually a lot quicker than a GPT. So there we go, that was less than 10 seconds. And Ideogram took about 15 seconds right there to generate that. This one's a tie for me. Now we get the security pop up again and we're ready to go with the next prompt. It's literally that simple. By the way, huge props to Jose Quiles or iScale POD on YouTube. He's the person where Professor Dr. Milo heard about this tool first and then he let me know so I could make a video as well. But I'll have his channel linked down below. He's wildly underrated. He's an amazing, very successful Amazon merch seller, very good teacher, and a great guy and friend of the channel. So I highly recommend checking out his content. Now, just to explain another couple of important things, on the left-hand side, you have the chat history. So if you want to go back to any of your previous prompts, you can click on the left-hand side right here and you can see the prompts and the results. On top of that, if you click new chat, you do have three different modes. So just to explain what these mean, battle is essentially picking two random AI models. So you don't really have control and often the results won't be very good. So not the greatest idea, 
but you also have direct chat, which is actually not bad if you want to just focus on one AI model specifically, you don't want to have two facing off. So for example, if you just want to use Ideogram V3, and you already know that gets the best results for your style, just paste your prompt in here, hit enter, and then once you've got a result, you can download it once again with this button, put your next prompt into the prompt bar and hit enter again. And there we go with this version right here, it doesn't ask for verification after every single step. So it might be a little bit faster if you already know exactly which AI model you want to use. And if you're looking for some t-shirt design prompts to use to play around with these different models, just come to my website, philipandus.com and go to the freebie section where you'll find a ton of prompts for different tools like Ideogram, DALI 3, Midjourney, Flux, as well as chat GPT down here. And you can download all of the files that you see right here totally for free. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, comment Team Milo down below. And for every single comment, Milo will receive one treat. And if you want to learn how to use the new chat GPT model effectively for print and demand, just check out this video next for seven prompts that will take your designs to the next level.